Guys, this is a mini PC that can actually game and we're for real this time. It features a dedicated GPU and a Ryzen 7000 series processor. And yeah, we're very excited to see how well it can actually game. But before we dive into that, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Are you tired of your unactivated Windows install on your gaming PC? Well, today's video sponsor, GVG Mall, has you covered. GVG Mall is an online marketplace to gain access to really awesome discounted game keys and more specifically, as we mentioned, Windows 10 licenses. It is incredibly easy to get your Windows 10 or 11 activation key from GVG Mall. Just use code TB20 to get a special discount, and then all you have to do is take that code, put it into Windows, and boom, you have an activated Windows copy. We have been working with GVG Mall for several years now, and we love the reliable of all the products they have to offer. So be sure to check the link in the description down below. Use code TB20 to save on your next purchase of a Windows key or other product from GVG Mall. All right, guys, we're gonna open up this mini PC and we're very excited because we've taken a look at a lot of minis for mini PCs, but all of them just come with APU graphics. This one, while it is a bit bigger than the other mini PCs, comes with a dedicated GPU. It says we do not recommend the customer remove the CPU cooler themselves. Wow. I wonder why. No recommended. Yeah, um, and then we get like a nice little instruction guide. So, I mean, already opening this up, I'm liking this little like really honeycomb style design that's very unique. So that looks really cool. Uh, yeah, let's with 7000 series up. Ryzen, you also have an RX 6600M. You should be able to play 1080p high settings in most games if the temperatures keep up. So we get a lot of accessories. This looks like a stand potentially. Yes, that's all in the product listing. They have it on a stand. So this is what it looks like. So yeah, that's what the stand looks like. Um, and this is probably a perfect, perfect time to tell you guys with our current configuration, you can buy this from Minis Forum for $779, which is a bit of a mm -hmm. premium, but we're talking about something that can actually game this time. And for those who really want a compact computer, this might be a good option. And keep in mind, I mean, you guys have been seeing us review like the 5000 series ones for years now, and those still go for three to $500. So an extra $200 for something that's 7000 series. And on top of that, dual channel RAM, NVMe SSD, and it actually has a dedicated a graphics card. That's pretty cool. Look what at kind this of power. Yeah, what kind of power is this thing? That's pulling? serious. That's actually like one of those like DIN connectors. That's a four pin. And this is 262 watts. Dang, that's a lot of watts for this. Which funny enough, I mean, you think about like the Alienware laptops we see, they're about that size and yeah. that many, like 280 watts. Yeah, because if you do think about it, you're pretty much getting like a gaming laptop in a box, just minus the screen. You're getting all the M stuff that you would normally see in a gaming laptop, but in a nice compact form factor. Yeah, there's not really a great spot. If you don't use the stand, you have ports in the front, ports in the back. So it'd have to sit like this or like this. But as you can see, there is ventilation on the side. So the stand is probably to help this thing run cooler, but it looks pretty cool with the stand. Let's talk about some of the ports. So this looks like to be the front of the device. We have our power button, we have a USB-C, we have a microphone, and then we have a headphone jack. We have a USB, I assume just to be three. And then in the back, we have a ethernet port. I'm not sure if that's 2.5 gig or one gig. We'll have to figure that out. We have two USB threes. We have two HDMI outs and then two USB-C outs, which might actually also act as displays as well. So in theory, two to four displays, which is pretty cool. And then we just have ventilation. This right here is for uh, your mounting. But I'm very excited to see this because again, we've taken a look at a lot of mini PCs with just the APU graphics. And it's really cool to see one that's using a 6600M, which we have tested here on the channel before in those like AliExpress GPUs, where they take the laptop GPU die and put it on a desktop board. And they perform very well and they're incredibly power efficient. All right, guys, we got the stand on and look how sturdy it is. It's sturdy, sturdy. with it, sturdy with it. But we're gonna open this thing up because I think it's very simple because you can get this in a bare bones model. So I would sure hope it's easily upgradable. You just take the feet off and I think there's just two screws and I, we should have access to the RAM and the storage. Oh, you know what I'm realizing too? The, these are non-slips and this is not perforated. So I guess if you it didn't want to use it, yeah. yeah, if you didn't want to use the stand, you'd lay it on its side. There you go. But the stand does look pretty sick. Pretty sick. So let's go ahead and take out these PH2 screws. We got four Phillips screws. This is like one of the hardest ones we've had to open. You really do need like an actual plastic tool or else you're gonna like absolutely mark this thing up because it is it is held on with force. Yeah, it's really, really clamped down. You're supposed to remove those four screws and then there are supposedly more screws in there to get rid of like a shield. Yeah, uh, so you can one. see where the RAM is and stuff underneath this. Let's get rid of the shield. Maybe it is. Oh God, I, I'm seeing this again. Another ribbon cable to connect to another board. It's oh giving God. me flashbacks to that one really tiny computer we took apart that we shouldn't have taken apart. And there we go. So we have our SSD, which is covered with a heat sink. Might so be Gen 4. I would assume it's Gen 4 with the 7000 series, but. Look um, at the RAM too, and man. we got heat sinks on the RAM. They, for and the, is that DDR5? Uh, it has... It's 7,000 series, so it has right. to be, Can right? it pop out? So these are just like standard SODIM slots. I could take this off, but... 
Oh yeah, we can just compare it. I'll try to see. It's always a smart method because we don't want to like, I don't want to peel this off. It's like an adhesive non. And no. that doesn't. So it doesn't DDR5. Match. So yeah, it has to be DDR5 sodium, which it is pretty affordable actually to get DDR5 sodium if you did get this bare bones. Um, but it's cool to see 32 gigs of DDR5, Gen 4 SSD with the heat sink on it. Uh, it's cool to see that they actually went above and beyond buying it with the stuff preloaded. Yeah, which I don't think it's going to be worth taking the front of this out. No. Because all that we're going to find on the other side as far as upgradability goes, I think is like nothing. I don't even know if this has a removable uh, CPU or not. No, I don't think it is. So. It's probably a soldered CPU. So really the only thing you can do later down the line is swap thermal paste, but I there's no reason to do that now. It's configured very well out of the box, but I guess we're gonna put it back together. And then from there, we're gonna play some games. I wanna see what this thing can do. I wanna play real games, not esports titles, lower settings. We're gonna play some real games with that 6600M and see if this is worth the money. I wanna be a real boy. All right, guys, we're playing Halo Infinite and uh, this is actually ranked. It's like a... <laughs> New rank mode? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's weird. Like, where's the where's the usual battle rifle? But uh, max FPV, 1080p, medium preset. Yeah, we're gonna see what this bad boy can do, and this I'm is liking what we're seeing. This is a real gaming PC so far. We will say, we've noticed there's there's a smell to this computer. I think it's starting to die down a little bit or becoming nose blind to it. I think it's like the plastics like heating up for the first time or something, but just something to keep in mind. I don't know if you've experienced this before, but temperatures are fine. It's not like something's overheating. We're in the seventies for the GPU and CPU and it's fairly quiet. Compared to a PC like this, if you build it yourself, you can do a 6600 PC for like $600. But I think getting a newer Ryzen 7, even though it is a mobile Ryzen 7, and a, well, relatively modern platform uh, for only like $100 more than building yourself, I think it's pretty good. It's actually, this is, I'm, I'm, I'm liking the price so far for yeah. it. For the performance, we're getting everything. Yeah, it's just like Slayer, oh. just like different weapons, which is so yes. weird. Oh, teammate, help. Teammate's like, I'm dying He's gonna too. come in here and kill both of us. Oh, oh we got go. him, that was good teamwork, teammate. All right, team, this is winnable. Let's not screw this up. Ooh, oh, assist. Whoa. Excuse me? That that felt like it was should have been. Where'd you go? Oh, assist. Oh, oh, no assist there. What? Oh, I didn't even get one. Oh! Oh, God, oh, God. Oh, please, I need this kill, man. Oh, my God. Oh, assist, God. let's go. <laughs> I don't think, I've never had assist like this, man. It's crazy. All right, let's Yay. go. Someone else got my assist this time. Give me the assist. I mean the kill. Yeah, yeah, we're taking them now, brothers. Nice. Yes. Perfect. Yes, yeah, I can't even tell we're on a mini PC. It's running so good. It's good, and also it's really quiet. Only with these mini PCs with like dedicated GPU, it it, it runs really loud. But this is very quiet. Oh, oh, clean up. Oh, oh. oh we won. Hey. We actually won a ranked game. Won yeah. a ranked game, and this mini PC mini is impressing PC. so far. This thing's eSports ready. And actually, that's a AAA title, really. Let's play another game. Let's play in eSports. Yay. All right, gamers, we are now in Call of Duty Warzone in the warm-up, but we're on the balance preset. We're not using any sort of FSR or upscaling. We're just going to run it off for right now to see what we can get. And 120 FOV. We're away in the warm-up lobby, but so far, man, this thing is just this thing's solid. Butter. Butter. Buttery smooth. It doesn't De stop you from being killed by DeGrinch. A little early here, guys. A little early for DeGrinch. But I'm just impressed with the temperatures of this thing. Like 70, 67 degrees Celsius, 99% use on the GPU. And this thing, I mean, it is a little warm, but it's not like super warm. And it's it's just running cool. Running real cool. Chugging right along. Yeah, having the DDR5 is gonna be great because you'll have the faster RAM speed, you have the 7000 series Ryzen. So all in all, this is really cool, and I bet for consecration as well, this would be a cool little portable mini computer for those who just don't like laptops and want to bring like this on a portable monitor, set it up wherever you go. You could definitely do that. Oh. Yeah, buddy. Oh. Someone's going, oh, I saw that oh. coming. Dang, they didn't even stand a chance. A little chopper. Dude, give me your soul. Nice. What in the heck? Oh, it's a decoy. Yep, I figured that was going to happen. Oh, no. Oh, no. I've been eliminated. I only had how many kills? Ah! No! Ooh. Yeah, run, buddy. <laughs> oh, he armored up, but it wasn't enough. I took your soul. 
Oh, oh. Downed him. Downed him. Yeah. Yeah. I can't finish him off for you. He has those. Thanks. That's a good gameplay right there. Was that two directions you got shot from? Oh. oh. <laughs> Bozo. Oh. Headshot eliminated? How'd that happen? <laughs> he got him. <laughs> Why is this gun so OP? Dude, it's so good. Oh, from behind! The cowboy. Oh, oh is that it? The same guy. That was guy. Tony Stark. Tony Stark got me. Hey, you know what? That ran great. Got some good kills, but yeah, very impressed with this mini PC. And if you get it from Minis Forum's website for $779, I think it's a very competitive price, especially with the RAM stuff included. Let's go and stress this thing with some more demanding titles and then wrap this video up real quick. All right, guys, we just got done benchmarking our mini gaming PC, and it did really well. And one of my favorite parts about this PC is I'd actually consider it to be a mini PC, especially if you take the standoff. It really doesn't take up a lot of room at all, and it's kind of in between the size of the typical tiny little handheld mini PCs we get and something like an Intel Nook. Yeah, I'm very impressed with this thing. This is a true mini gaming PC, and it's been a while since we've been able to say that. And if you do buy this thing, definitely check out Minis Forum's website because they do have the best pricing right now, but they do also sell them on Amazon. We'll leave links in the description down below. They will be affiliate links. They will help us out. Let us know what you think of this mini PC. Do you think it's too big to be considered a mini PC or would you actually pick one up for your next gaming rig? Let us know in the comment section down below. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toasty bros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. So this mini PC right here will be for sale at PCBros.tech. It's already been tested and it's going to be backed by our one year warranty. PCBros.tech, gaming PCs, gaming laptops, and so much more. If you use code ToastyBros2 on check out, save 2% of your next purchase. And guys, stay tuned. Awesome Black Friday sales are coming in November. See you guys later. Goodbye.